Hare Krishna. To keep fighting battles that are already lost is to be lost. To keep fighting battles that are already lost. What does that mean? Say, for example, now in Indian history, many the Vedic rulers fought battles against some Islamic invaders. And they lost, lost those battles because of which India was subordinated. And India was dominated. Many of India's temples were desecrated. Now, when we hear about this, we may feel very bad about it. But that happened centuries ago. And we can't do anything about it now. If in, in the mind we keep rippling, oh, if only this king had done that, if this king had done that, then we are wasting time. We can't do anything about it. Uh, closer home, if we consider we are, our life is like a battle. And sometimes we lose some battles because of certain things that go wrong in our lives. Say we might make a mistake or sometimes somebody might give us a bit of a cheat us. So say, oh, if only I had done like this, if only that person had done like that, if only this had happened like that, then maybe things could have been different. No, that battle is already lost. If we stay attached to battles that are already lost, then in our mind we keep replaying only uh, them. And then we have no energy to fight. Now, whatever battles we can fight and can possibly win. So thus, uh, we, we have already lost the past battles and we end up losing the present battles also. This is what the mind does when, in the, when influenced by the uh, mode of ignorance, Tamoguna, it stays locked in the past. Krishna says in the Gita, that ya sapnam bhayam shokam vishadam madame vacham navimunchati durmedha tisa partha tamasi. He says that actually partha tamasi, what is the tamasic intelligence? It is the intelligence which um, stays in the past, vishadam, lamenting about the past, shokam, lamentation, moroseness, fearfulness. All these characterize determination in the mode of ignorance. The perverse determination, which leads not to nothing constructive, only destructive things. So the way to avoid this is to recognize that we can fight battles that we can win if we stay by the side of Krishna. We may lose some battles or still, but if we stay by the side of Krishna, stay if we fight for Krishna, the ultimate war of life we will win. Just as Arjun won the ultimate war, Although he lost some encounters, they were exiled to the forest. They had to, they never lost an archery battle, but some other confrontations in life they lost. But still they won ultimately. So similarly, instead of staying lost in the past and then getting lost in the present, you can focus on connecting with Krishna, fighting for Krishna, using the best ability that we have in the present. And that will enable us to put the past battles behind us, past losses behind us and create a winning future for ourselves by fighting the present battles diligently and devotionally. Thank you. Hare Krishna.